everybody welcome back to another video on my youtube channel i hope everybody's having a wonderful day sorry if i sound kind of weird um still not gotten over this cold and now my ears like i like needs to pop so i sound even more weird um yeah so let's try to get through this video um yeah so this video is going to be about tetras i have two different kinds of tetras i have orange tetras and gray tetras um, there's more tetra species out there, I think. Um, those are just the two that they had. So, let's talk a little bit about tetras. This video is mainly for pets, Inc. Um, but anybody could watch it and learn from it. So, first thing we're going to start off with is what tetras eat. So, tetras could literally eat almost anything community fish could eat. There's not really a specific type of food for them, so you could probably find you could find anything on Amazon. But um, the cheapest thing to buy is just like regular community fish food. Um, yeah, so you definitely want to mix it with like something else. So it could be like brine shrimp or stuff like that. Um, not just that food. So try to give them some different um, variety of stuff. I have brine shrimp and then the um, like actual fish food, which has like shrimp and different stuff in it. So it has like kind of a variety for them. So that's what they eat. The easiest option is just to buy community fish food, something that they can all eat, and um, some brine shrimp, shrimp or something like that. Um, the next thing is going to be they need to live in a group of five to six fish, no less than five. You could totally get more. They aren't small, so if you're going to have that much, I don't recommend a 10-gallon tank. I mean, you could probably fit them in a 10-gallon tank if you have five or six. It seems a little too small for that much fish to go in. I know I have five or six in the 20-gallon tank. Or I have a five in the 20 gallon tank um plus four other fish so it would work perfectly fine for a 20 gallon tank and they would even have extra room i don't know if i'd squeeze them in a 10 gallon tank or not um yeah just my opinion um the next thing is for the light they are very sensitive so don't get a powerful light like my light it was really like really bright so i put stuff underneath the light to make it more dim um and they just like the darkness more than light obviously if you have live plants you need light um which i recommend live plants over fake plants for many reasons um but obviously plants need water and sunlight so you do have to give them light um but you can kind of dim like this light for my 10 gallon tank you can dim it a lot and change it colors but not with that one um, the next thing is going to be water temperature. So, uh, these fish aren't hard. I, uh, I'll post a picture of what I found on Google, but, um, I mean, for community fish in general, just try to find a bunch of fish that can go around the same temperature, can eat the same things. So, it doesn't have to be an exact temperature, like a betta fish has to be a lot warmer, um, and other fish have to be in colder water. These are kind of in between. I think my tank, I'm not sure what my tank is at. Um, it might be at like, I was at 78. Yeah, it might be around 78. Um, I'll put a picture from Google though. Um, but water temperature is important for most fish. Um, they need to have like an exact number for tetras. They don't have to have an exact number. Um, Obviously, make sure to crowd the tank enough, but not too much. Make sure to have things, especially for tetras, to hide under um, because in case they do get scared for any fish, but especially them, they like to also have just dark places. So um, in this tank, I built kind of like a little rock structure, which they go under if they get scared, and it's also dark under there. So you could make things out of rocks or you can buy stuff, but um, I hope this helped. 
they're not that hard of fish to take care of, I'm not going to lie. They're not very hard. You can put orange tetras and gray tetras together. They're, I have them together. They don't fight or anything. Um, yeah, I hope this helped. And please leave video ideas down below because I'm running out. Um, and I know you guys don't really like the bearded dragon videos. I mean, nobody really watches them. So I don't know if I'll continue those or not. But if you guys want turtle, more hamster, guinea pig, just let me know what you guys like because I do so many of them, it gets really hard. So I will see you guys in another video, and I've also been making a lot more um, YouTube shorts. I just find it fun. So I'm glad you guys are liking those. I will see you in another video. Bye!